I was just thinking when I was davening Mincha, Hashem Sifatai Tiftach, also with Oseh Shalom, Bimomav, it's like these times where we're taking these three steps back. Well, my Lord, Jonathan Sachs, shares a story. Somebody asked Rav Salant, this rabbi who deals with family matters, people are going through difficult times, and he said, you know, how do you bring peace? How do you find shalom in the home? And he said, what do you do when you say, oh, say shalom? He says, you take three steps back. He said, that that's exactly what it is. You have to take these steps back and find the compromise. Rabbi Nachman actually, he, he has a Torah on Shtika. It says, Shtika is the keta around Chochmah. So it's basically when, if this hamten, this pause, or taking these steps back, it gives an opportunity to realize that not only can you learn from your own experiences, you're going through these stories and you're actually learning from it, but you get that chance to learn from somebody else, taking those steps back and learning from somebody else. When you don't do that and you don't have that shtika, you think you know everything and you're not really learning from these experiences they're always going through. And right now we're surrounded by the Ananea Kavod. It's the same sort of consciousness when we're about to come into the Amidah, we're taking these steps back and we're going into this new, this higher consciousness. And right now with the Ananea Kavod, it's the same thing. And we're also in this space. I met with Yoshua from Corn Publishing and he's shared this. I'm just going to share this and then we're going to bring Moshe Gershon. I have books over there at the table. You can check it out. Five books, the parallel of the five books of the Torah. I've done a couple of events with Moshe Gersht. We just did um, Yerushalayim. We, we did at Pomerantz Books. And I have the scope to be able to do a few different events with him. It's been amazing. And I sat with um, Yoshua and he was telling me about the, basically people have these boxes that create like a yeshuv like in a matter of hours. And he said they kind of like bring them on on trucks and they place them. And he was saying that basically in this bigger box would be like a shul, like ready to go. And the, the rabbi would be watching this crane bring it down. And he's just painting this picture of this rabbi and the son. And they're kind of like almost moving it. There's these pillars and they're moving it so that it's exactly perfect. So when it comes down on the pillars. And finally, they're like, okay, this is good. And then they motion for them to bring it down. And they finally put it down and they open the door to look at the shul. And this is going to be the new place that they're bringing in Shefa and the Brachot. And then he realizes, oh my God, we did it the opposite. It's facing the opposite way. <laughs> and they're like, how are we going to like fix this? And the son says... What do you mean? You just, just move it again, how we moved it. Just move it with your hands. And he's trying to explain to the son. He's like, no, 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 that was when it was up. You can't do that now. It's already put down. And until Hoshana Rabbah, it's the same thing. We know that Esther Yemei Tshuva, but we also leading up to Hoshana Rabbah, we're in this time where we can actually shift and try to work on our Koma, try to work on the seven Midot and try to find that alignment. And we're in this time where we can we can still do it within, within the year and we can still go above nature, and that's what we learned from Staka and Tzedek, that when we have this opportunity to go outside of ourselves and go beyond our comfort zone, then Hashem sees us, and that's how He treats us, so that's how we reach above nature. But working within the Teva, while we're still simultaneously above that, but in this time we're also sort of in it because we're in time, we have the opportunity to shift these different aspects and these different Shefa and the Bachot that we're going to get. So my blessing is that we really tap into that consciousness, take the three steps back, come into the Amidah, come into Oseh Shalom, and bring shalom within the Koma, the seven emotional attributes, but also within each other, and of course, connecting to the Orient. So, I right, thank you so much. <laughs>